The dispensary has already been opened yet, but it's already a moneymaker. Nevada has pulled in more than two and a half million dollars from entrepreneurs looking to cash in on the state's cannabis industry. That comes from all the license fees. The state is now looking uh, at over more than uh, more than 500 applications from people who want to get in to the medical marijuana business. And remember, only 40 dispensaries will be allowed down here in Clark County. State employees also revealed today that more people are getting their cards to use the drug. Almost 6,500 Nevadans have medical marijuana cards now, and thousands more are expected to be issued as dispensaries begin opening early next year. And when they do open up shop, they could be the latest attraction for tourists in Southern Nevada. The Travel Joint is a Las Vegas-based website catering to a unique and new tourism segment, marijuana smokers. Creators of the website are hoping to cash in on visitors interested in smoking medical marijuana in Nevada. The website is geared toward baby boomers, they tell us. It allows tourists to book hotels, cars, flights, and will soon offer a map of Clark County's dispensaries. State Senator Tick Sagerblum is on the leading edge of all this. He says dispensaries will give tourists who have medical marijuana cards issued in other states another reason to visit our city. Brandon, I just wanted people to see, again, <laughs> the creativity that's out there and really the future for Las Vegas and Reno. I mean, this is such an exciting industry. Um, it really takes us to a new level and, and hopefully a whole other crowd. And this is not the potheads. This, this is, as you said, this is the businessman, the retired exactly. person, um, a whole other group of people with money to spend. So those cards from other states will be recognized here. Nevada voters legalized medical marijuana way back in 2000, but the state only recently enacted regulations to allow people to open medical marijuana businesses legally.